Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series and the Thieves Guild Darkness Returns quest. And it looks like Brynjolf and Carlyle have stitched me up and I have to do this on my own. So let's just crack on. And as luck would have it, it's actually just not very far from where I'm camping at the moment. So, uh, yeah, short little trip. I won't bother actually putting that in the video. But, uh, yeah, let's just crack on over there. And here we are. Leave the uh, guys behind. And just crack straight on. I'm not going to be subtle or clever about this, so I'm just going to dash and bash it. Okay, it's been a while since we've done that. I'm not going to bother picking up a lot of stuff either. If, if, if it's on the way, I'll pick it up. If not, I'm not going to go looking. Ask the same question of you. I've defended the sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last, what happened to the rest? By one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. How are you to blame? Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Wait a moment, you're Gallus or Gallus? Twenty-five years, mate. Me? I have the, the key. key. You have the skeleton key. I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? He's dead. Then it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. Oh, I yeah, it was. A great deal, Nightingale. I did this for Nocturnal, blah, 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 blah. That's quite a noble sentiment for someone in our, well, in your line of work. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle, help me. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing and take the key and right all the wrongs. Than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. How can a spirit die? merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then I'll have to proceed alone. So. You see, nobody wants to I come in there. It's, it's kind away. of get me a bit worried. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage. You know, we get the feeling you've been stitched up. Be by following the pilgrim's path to the Ebon Man and replacing the key. Okay. Right. I wish I could help you. But I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Okay, so uh, if you want Nistrom's journal, Good it's night. just down here. And all it does is give you kind of like hints about what to expect in there. But you're taking that journey with me, so you don't need it. Okay, you get a decent uh, leveled enchanted weapon as well. But anyway, in this one's journal, you can uh, read that and I'll give you hints. I'm not going to give you a spoiler alert because, hey, you're watching this video. Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, I got an execution order. I'm not even the Dragonborn yet. Go on, why have got to see the. There you go. Yeah, I was wandering along, minding my own business, and I got attacked by a load of Thalma. And uh, I'm not sure why, because I haven't done the Helgen thing, I haven't done any Dragonborn thing at all. So officially, I'm not Dragonborn yet, and yet I've still got the Thalma after me. So, uh, yeah, trying to work that one out. And apparently I'm to be executed with extreme hatred. So I've clearly really pissed them off. Okay, right. So I've got no one to tank for us. We'll have to be a little bit clever here, I think. Okay, right. That should be good enough. Yes, butterfingers. There's a couple of more of these guys around um, and to the left and little places you can pick up some uh, some fairly decent loot actually. But uh, we're not going to bother with that are we? Starting alarm, oh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. It's got no value, it's got no enchantments. Oh yeah, uh, watch out for all the traps. I've, obviously I've got the perk where I don't set them off. But you may not have, so be careful. Okay. We need to get a sneak attack on this one, so... stand any chance of killing him. So, let's... Hopefully that'll distract him a bit. Yep, yep. Nice one. Okay. 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 Chicken chick, quick save here. And I'm whispering again. Shh. Oh, yes. Getting a nice girl armor. Okay. That's right, that'll do Carlo and uh, Inigo. Super. Okay, and this one, I think you'll stay out of the light. When the black books, you've got to stay in the light. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oops, wrong way. Okay, around the back here, I think. God, it's been so long since I've done this. Oops, don't want to fall off. Yeah, if you've got mage light, like that'd be quite helpful because there's quite a few traps around here as well. And just run right down. There you go. Okay, that's it. For some reason, I'm expecting some Drogger. Okay, oh, search him. Come and solve him, nom nom. Yeah, I'm taking, we'll take that.
Yeah, okay, let's just take the gold, why not? Let's rob a deity. Because that can't end badly for us at all, can it? Behave with thieves. She knows that. Yeah, just go through. Oh, I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. That hurt right in the face. <laughs> Ouch. I should know better. Oh, come on, how many doors you bloody need? And, uh, yeah, just jump down there. Okay, quickly rob him. Yeah, just hang around for about uh, 30 seconds. Don't worry. It's, uh, it happens. I can't believe it came all this way. Sold all those ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorised the Nistron selections he collected from this, I, sent, I slit his throat. <laughs> yeah, and is not a nice chap. You know, just hang around. Twiddle your thumbs. Sing a song. And there you go. since I've set foot on your world, or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Okay, right, fair enough. Ungrateful cow. I'm glad right, you Clara girl. To bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Well, she oh, sounded a bit indifferent, to be fair. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful. Outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What's this uh, about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? 
imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of stealth, the Half Moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of strife. Why can't this I be all three? This is way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So what now? Your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Okay, we can ask lots of questions, and uh, all you've got to do now is, is choose one of these. So I'll go through them quickly with you. And the half moon. Okay, nice and girl subterfuge added, and we'll have a quick look. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. People and creatures in the spell area effect will attack anyone nearby for 30 seconds. Okay. And we look at the next one, which is the full moon. Nightingale Strife. And instantly absorbs 100% of health from the target, which could be good combined with uh, other spells we've got. No good at um, a high level, though, I don't think. And you've got this one, the Crescent Moon, Shadow Cloak of Nocturnal added, and this one's quite good as well. Where you go. 120 seconds, you automatically become invisible while sneaking. So that one's quite good as well. Uh, for me personally, I've chosen Subterfuge. Now I use Frenzy and Calm a lot in my in my build, so and especially we'll do in this one, in particular this build, this will be handy. Because Torin's never gonna be strong, so she'll get other people fighting for her. And also fighting with each other. So let's have a look at the two lovebirds. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale, your fears would have come true. She honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. See you, Gallus, dude. Okay, so that's, uh pretty much it we return the skeleton key and by the way guys you don't need to keep the skeleton key lock picking's easy uh watch my video i did in it honestly it's, it's easy you don't need to keep it finish the quest okay get your power it's a it's a stupid thing to keep okay so that's it let's go and get the guys and uh job done and i think that's all that's left for us to do is become the Yes, my friend. Thieves Guild Master. You lead, I follow. Or oh, Guild Master Thieves Guild. So, uh, yeah, that we'll be doing next. Now, I imagine that's going to be a you long video uh, because there's a me. lot to do to become uh, the Master. So, Maybe not hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. See you next week, guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, 
and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.